Hey guys, it's Brianna of Brianna Pasquale Photography. Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple head swap in Photoshop. Um, and I use Photoshop CS6, just in case you're wondering, there might be a few differences um, between that and other versions. So what you're gonna wanna do is you need to start out with two images where the subjects are basically in the same position. Um, now this first image that I have, I really love these two boys' faces. I think they look adorable. The older brother has his eyes closed. Um, so I have another image where I'm not a big fan of his face. It just, you know, looks a little goofy. Um, and, you know, one of those canned smiles. Uh, but his face looks good. And so I want to put this face on this body. Um, so I'm going to grab this image and I'm going to drag it over to this one and I'm going to line the images up um, and I'm going to set this image, uh, the, the layer one, which is what it should be once you drag it over, to 50% opacity about. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up his neck with his neck on the previous image. There we go. And you can see how it looks really sharp and defined. You can see that it's lined up as opposed to this part that looks really fuzzy. Um, and the reason I'm lining it up on the neck is because it can be really hard to work with collars. Um, but if you have to, you can line it up on the jawline, just where, wherever works best. So once I've got it lined up the way I want it to be, um, I'm gonna put that layer back up at 100% opacity. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to make a quick mask. So you just click this button and it's got the quick mask and I'm going to invert it. So right now it should be white um, and you it, once you click quick mask it should pop up with this little box. Oops. And I'm going to click invert. So once it's inverted I'm going to grab a white brush and I'm gonna bring it up to about 150 pixels. It really depends on the size of your subject's head, but his this will work well for his head size in this image. And I'm gonna brush, with the white brush, I'm gonna brush the head from the other layer back on, just like this. And I don't wanna go too far down, but if you do, do go too far down, then you can, um, Use the black brush to brush it back. There we go. And this back, this actually works really well with the wood. Um, the fact that it's not necessarily even right here is okay because that's just how the wood is. It doesn't look too terrible. Uh, if you wanted to get really picky, then you could brush this back a little bit. But I don't really want to. And then you start having issues again with the previous head, but what I can do is I can brush on with white to kind of blend it a little bit better. And I think I like the way that looks. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in, and if you have a Mac, you can just press the Z button. You don't have to go all the way over here every time, and I do a lot of zooming in and out, so that's a good little shortcut to know. So now that I'm zoomed in, I can see that right here it's not quite... Um, it's not quite merged, I guess. So I'm gonna go in and paint it a little more. There we go. And then I can also see that this line isn't going all the way through like it should. And then this line, it's showing up from the um, second image and this one isn't going all the way through as well. And really the key to a good head swap is in the details. So I definitely need to take care of that. But before I can do that, I need to merge my two layers. So I'm going to take a screenshot um, so that, or a snapshot, excuse me, so that I can go back to this. If I realize later that I missed a spot, I can go back in. And now that I've taken the snapshot, I'm going to merge these two layers. And you can go up here and do layer merge visible. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I like to use my shortcuts when I know them and I have them. And you can merge the visible layers by going Shift-Command-E, and that's going to merge it all down. Now that I've done that, 
I'm gonna go in with my clone brush and I really like to use a small clone brush. This one is perfect, 22 pixels for this particular job. And I'm gonna select Alt and click right here because that's the source that I wanna use for my cloning. And then I'm gonna go across until it gets to his head. And I think that's just about perfect and it's not exactly a perfect a perfect line but as you can see before it was a little bit uneven so that's okay and then I'm gonna select over here um, and extend that one as well and as you can see right here it gets a little darker and I'm not actually or a little lighter and I'm not actually a fan of that so I'm gonna select the darker spot and go in and um, extend it with the darker spot okay and then with this, um, I'm going to probably select the lighter grain and I'm going to extend that lighter grain as well. And if you're not really a fan of how it's looking, maybe a little too uniform, you can go in, use your patch tool and select the spots that you don't like and drag it over and kind of make it clean it up a little bit. That's better. And then again, I can do that over here if I want. Um, the amazing thing about Photoshop is that there's just so many tools and I'm pretty happy with how that looks. So I'm gonna take another snapshot and anytime throughout my editing I take lots of snapshots because sometimes later you'll notice you missed something and especially with head swaps you want to do that a lot. So you don't have to start over again if you mess up. And now we've got three little boys smiling and um, that's it. So make sure you follow me on YouTube. I've got, I'm gonna be put, posting lots of how-to videos for Photoshop and I hope that you'll check out my work. Again, it's Brianna Pasquale Photography in Dallas, Texas. Thanks, bye.